I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and planting a merry garden is something that's been on our Catholic bucket list for a long time. We've always wanted to do it but we are not gardeners here, so that is a problem. We were looking around online and realized that planting a merry garden doesn't have to be some big extravagant affair. You can also plant a mini merry garden, which is much more doable for us. Yes, and that's exactly what we're doing today. And of course, we want you to come along with us. So first stop is the garden center to get some supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're in the car. We're on our way to Home and Garden Center. I don't know, maybe Ace Hardware or Lowe's. Yeah, maybe Lowe's. We'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> We've got our list of plans that we're looking for to create our mini Merry Garden. Kind of excited. Yeah, see what we find. Walking up to the store, I do have a lot of nice flowers today. We just got a couple of things at Lowe's. It was a hard call. So many. <laughs> yeah, so many things. It was a hard decision. So we're passing by an Ace Hardware on the way home. So smaller selection, but might just stop by, see what they have. Okay. So we're here at Ace Hardware now, and it also almost seems as though it has a better selection than when we were at Lowe's. This is what we wound up with. We already had the Miracle Grow. So that looks good. So here is the planter that we wound up with. We decided to go with a lighter weight plastic instead of the heavier terracotta. And this one is about a 12 inch diameter. So for potting soil, we already had quite a lot of Miracle Grow in the garage for some reason. So we're gonna just use what we have for that. Okay, then we picked up some petunias. We just love the deep purple with the white speckles. Petunia means ladies praise. So that's definitely going in the pot. And we also picked up some marigolds, which you get Mary's gold from. And a couple more petunias because they were giving these away free to catechists at the end of the year meeting last night. So. These will make a nice pop of color. They needed a good home, so here we are. And we also picked up a vinca flower, uh, and this one is white to symbolize Mary's purity. And here is this guy. We just thought he was really cool. It is a Dracaena spike. I'm not sure if that's an official Mary plant, but it's a fun one. So we've had a little bit of a rain delay. I don't know if you can tell, everything's pretty wet but we are now going to get back on track. We had to scramble and put everything sort of in a protective area. So we have relocated to the scenic garage and that is where we are going to be putting our merry garden together, so here we go. And then we left a little bit of room right in front to put our Blessed Mother. Okay, then we decided that we didn't want the one planter to be too overcrowded, so we unearthed another planter that we had in the garage. It's not new and shiny, but I hope the, the green stuff isn't too bad in it. We're going to use this.
for putting a picture of Our Lady in our garden. We have a couple of options. We have some laminated holy cards that could work. And then we also have this statue of Our Lady of Lourdes, but we usually keep her in the kitchen and we kind of like her there. So we're probably just going to attach one of these. Um, we're, we're leaning towards this one to a shish kebab stick just with tape or something. And then hopefully we'll be able to find a different statue of Our Lady to put out there. Our churchyard sale is coming up, so we're gonna keep our eyes peeled at that. So we wound up putting the picture more towards the back than the front. We just thought it looked better. But that's what we have. Hopefully the plants will grow and fill in the gap in the front. So this is how our mini Mary garden turned out. It's not bad for a first effort, right? So all of these plants need full sun and they'll do really well, we hope, right here by our front door. So we really wanted something beautiful to put next to our front door, which is kind of that little pick me up when going in and outside. Art and beauty matter. So Mother Mary for the win. Without her inspiration, I don't think we would have ever put all this together. We would have fallen into our usual gardening sloth. <laughs> so let us know down in the comments if you have a Mary garden or if you've ever had one. Or if you have an indoor one, because we saw a lot of cool ideas online for that also. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for gardening with us and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.